everyone, so hopefully this video is hopefully definitely coming out for Sunday. Now, because I wanted to, to originally do five, unfortunately I don't have that long because one fireworks and two noise background. Today we're going to be looking at my top five favourite Nintendo Wii video games. And this is the only Nintendo console that I will probably ever play apart from the Nintendo DS, which I really don't care about. Here's the intro. Three, Western Evil The Dark Side Chronicles. Now, to be honest, I only played about 30 seconds of it, and also the intro with the new story with Leon and Jack Krauser. And when I did play it, I played it up until I saw this creature, and then I stopped. So, really, I don't know much about it. Ha! <laughs> I'm such a liar. I know that has Western Evil 2 and Co. Chronicle in it. It looks a fantastic game, it does. And it's like, if you don't want to play the one on the PlayStation 1, you can play on here. Number two, Boom Blocks Bash Party. Hopefully I've said that right. No really an expert of, of the story mode, it's just throwing stuff to break stuff. You used to have an online server where you can create your own levels and go through different things, but now that's gone and you can only create and there's not that much in the game sold. I think it came out back in 2009. Um, the game is still fun, but it used to be more fun then. But it still holds a very much dire place for my childhood. From the depths of the sea to the far reaches of outer space comes the sequel to the Bluxbuster Wii title of 2008, Boom Blocks Bat Party. Play together. Play against each other. Or team up with friends to cause maximum destruction. Explore over 400 levels, featuring new toys and blocks, and a cast of wacky characters that you can tackle, bash, and slip like never before. Build your own levels. Send them to your friends. Or download levels whenever you play. Block Smash Party, the party anyone can throw. <laughs> and number one, Lego Indiana Jones 2. Now, I feel like I have said this before, so if so, this game I like 
to it because it takes place in some of the films. It also has an open world aspect. It continues where it left off. And also one of the greatest things about this game is that you're able to create your own levels. How fantastic is that? Apart from LEGO Worlds, no other LEGO game has done this that's in the current 20th century. And I'm still looking for Star Wars to do that, and I was hoping Dimensions were going to do that, but oh well. You don't always get what you want. The biggest name in adventure is back to Boogie. Mm. Lego Indiana Jones 2, The Adventure Continues. Play all new levels from the original three Indiana Jones adventures. Huh? Raiders of the Lost Ark, The Temple of Doom, and The Last Crusade. With your favorite new moments from Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Ooh. And for the first time, build your own levels and play them with your friends for a true one-of-a-kind experience. This fall, Whoa. the legend is back. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this top 3 video. I don't really like doing top 3's but when you have to, you have to. I just want to let you know that one, I will be doing a top 5 based list video on Life is Strange and also Life is Strange Before the Storm and then also the review will be coming in December because I feel like that's a very nice diet placed in my heart for it to be for Christmas. Sorry for of the bis, bit of the disappointment. I might do the Life is Strange Before the Storm each episode with you, but with Life is Strange, I'll just do that in whole because I feel like that it's different. It is, and then also the Truth episode three will hopefully be coming out sometime this week. I don't want to delay it on any further because I have other stuff to do. And I just want to let you know, aside from next weekend, the Christmas. <laughs> Um, 2017 plan of videos will be starting in production next week. Documentary stuff and short film stuff will start a bit earlier because that's that's films and whatever. But yeah, so there's a lot of things that are happening. And I'll leave you, you to another video down below that's letting you know that I have challenged you to make a Crash Bandicoot Christmas game. It's just really a challenge, something fun. The winning is... Uh, I have made a video about two of those things, but please know that I just really want this to be for fun and don't take it as too seriously as possible. It's just I want to see more Christmas instead of Halloween games. Anyway, thank you guys for watching so much and I'll see you all on the next one. Peace.